Acer has built a strong reputation for delivering laptops that balance affordability, performance, and design. With the release of the Acer Aspire 16 and the Acer Swift X14, many buyers are weighing their options between these two intriguing machines. While they both cater to slightly different audiences, the overlap in performance, design, and price may cause some hesitation when deciding which model matches your needs. In this video, we'll dive deep into both devices, analyzing their design, performance, display, portability, battery life, and target use cases to help you choose the right laptop in 2025. First up, design. There's not much to remark on. The Aspire 16 AI is a simple silver-gray plastic slab with a low-key Acer badge. It's thin at just 0.63 inches in profile. It's also light at 3.42 pounds, which isn't much for a laptop with a 16-inch display. What about build quality? The Aspire 16 AI isn't luxurious, as the laptop uses plastic for both the interior and exterior. However, the materials used look and feel fine for a budget machine. It's rigid, too, as the display lid and lower chassis allow only a hint of flex in use. I also noticed the display hinge can rotate up to 180 degrees, meaning it's possible to open the laptop so that the screen lies entirely flat on a table. That provides some extra possibilities in your setup if you plan to use the laptop as a second screen with an external keyboard and mouse. The Acer Aspire 16 AI includes both a keyboard and a numpad. That, of course, means you have a numpad, which even many 16-inch laptops lack. Key feel is fine. There's fair key travel, and each key activates with a defined bottoming action, but it's not as crisp as I would like. This, however, is definitely a nitpick, and I had no problem typing several thousand words on the laptop. The touchpad is large at roughly 6 inches wide and 3.5 inches deep. While there are some more expensive laptops with bigger touchpads, this is an above-average size for a laptop in this price bracket, and the extra space is appreciated. Meanwhile, the Acer Swift X14, like most Ultrabooks, comes in an elegant if discreet shade of gray called Steel Gray. It doesn't quite set itself apart from the pack visually, but it certainly looks good and is light and diminutive enough for easy on-the-go computing. The keyboard is good enough, though I wouldn't consider it to be the most comfortable I've ever used compared to the Aspire 16. The trackpad, however, gave me some issues. It's nice to the touch, and moving the cursor around is smooth, but the trackpad didn't seem to want to cooperate when dragging and dropping unless I had my fingers positioned very accurately. There are some aspects of the Acer Swift X14 and Aspire 16 that are a bit hard to pin down but worth mentioning, and that is in regard to their use in AI tech. The laptops support Windows Copilot, enhancements for the webcam and mic, as well as using AI to accelerate the performance of a number of apps. The centerpiece of the Aspire 16 is its 16-inch IPS LCD display, available in both Full HD and 2.5K configurations. It is primarily designed for productivity and entertainment, offering accurate colors and wide viewing angles. The larger screen size and 120Hz refresh rate shine for tasks like spreadsheets, multitasking, and streaming, giving you more real estate than most 14-inch laptops can manage. The Swift X14 has a 14.5-inch OLED display option, along with a sharp 2.8K resolution that runs natively at 120Hz for smoother results. Plus, it comes with certified display HDR True Black 500 to really make the colors pop. The OLED panel is stunning, with deeper blacks, vibrant colors, and higher contrast ratios that make creative work and media consumption a delight. However, the smaller screen size means less space for multitasking compared to the Aspire 16. If you are a creative professional or someone who values display quality above all, the Swift X14's OLED display is tough to beat. But for productivity enthusiasts who prefer a bigger canvas, the Aspire 16 is more suitable. The Aspire 16 is powered by the Snapdragon X1P processors, designed with AI-assisted performance optimizations. It also has a stripped-down version of Qualcomm Adreno, which is excellent for general use and light creative work. The Aspire 16 is more of a productivity powerhouse, ideal for handling multitasking, office work, web browsing, and even some light photo editing or casual gaming. This is where the Swift X14 flexes its muscles. The 2025 edition comes with better Intel Core i7 CPUs than the Aspire 16 and steps ahead by including NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 discrete GPUs. 
This addition makes it a much more powerful machine for creators, video editors, engineers using software, or gamers. Combined with fast 16 gigabytes of memory, I was also able to capably game on this laptop, running titles like Starfield and Gotham Knights on fairly high settings, certainly on par with settings I've used on gaming laptops equipped with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060. Since the screen is an OLED panel with HDR as well as great color coverage and accuracy, images pop and look rich and vibrant. For pure performance, the Swift X14 is the winner thanks to its dedicated GPU. However, the Aspire 16 is more than enough for students, business users, and general everyday tasks. The Aspire 16 with its larger chassis accommodates a bigger 65 watt hour battery. And since it often runs on integrated graphics, it tends to be more power efficient for everyday tasks. Expect around 12 to 15 hours on average productivity usage. The Acer Aspire 16 AI also ships with a USB-C charger that provides 65 watts of power. It's towards the larger side for a 65 watt adapter. Aspire 16 AI owners may want to look into a 65 watt GAN charger to improve portability. The laptop doesn't have a fast charging mode. Since the Acer Swift X14 has to power some robust components, it's no wonder that it doesn't have the battery life of Aspire 16. Make no mistake, a benchmark score of 7 hours for the battery test though, at 60 Hz, is pretty good when compared to gaming laptops with similar internals which are considered to have amazing battery lives when reaching the same scores. But don't expect the 15 hours that you would get with a MacBook. And if you run this laptop hard, expect that battery to go down pretty quickly. For battery life, the Aspire 16 edges ahead, especially if you're doing lighter tasks. However, the Swift X14 offers enough power efficiency to handle a workday especially if you stick to integrated GPU mode when heavy performance isn't needed. With its larger frame, the Aspire 16 offers a wider array of ports, usually including USB-C 4 ports, both of which support DisplayPort and power delivery, as well as two USB-A ports, a micro SD card reader, a full-sized HDMI port, and a 3.5mm combo audio jack. Acer also delivers on wireless connectivity, as the Aspire 16 AI supports Wi-Fi 7, the latest version of the standard. It pairs that with Bluetooth 5.3, which is a step behind the latest 5.4 standard. The Acer Aspire 16 AI also has a full HD webcam that includes a physical privacy shutter. The camera's sharpness and color reproduction are respectable. It's a similar story for the dual array microphone, which picked up my voice with decent volume and clarity. The webcam and microphone are average for the category, but they do the job. The Swift X14 takes a more minimalist approach, focusing on newer standards. It features two USB-C ports that are also USB 4, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and a micro SD reader, along with the requisite headphone jack. Those worried about security will be happy to note that there's a Kensington lock as well. Beyond that, there's an HD webcam that unfortunately doesn't support Windows Hello facial recognition. However, there's a fingerprint reader in the power button for that purpose. If you need a versatile set of ports, the Aspire 16 is your friend. If you're fine with dongles and prioritize a slim form factor, the Swift X14 is still functional. Before the end, which one is right for you? Here's a quick breakdown of who should buy which. Choose the Acer Aspire 16 if you need a larger screen for productivity or multitasking. You appreciate a full-size keyboard with a number pad. You want a laptop with strong battery life and a good selection of ports. You're budget conscious and don't need heavy GPU performance. Choose the Acer Swift X14 if you're a creative professional who edits videos, designs, or uses GPU-heavy software. You want a lightweight, ultra-portable machine for frequent travel. You love the stunning image quality an OLED display provides. You're okay with paying a premium for performance and portability. In conclusion, both laptops represent Acer's commitment to different types of users. The Aspire 16 is the reliable workhorse for students, casual users, and office workers who value comfort, affordability, and practicality. Meanwhile, the Acer Swift X14 caters to power users, creatives, and mobile professionals who crave performance and premium portability. Ultimately, the best laptop depends on your individual needs, a bigger screen and value compared to compact power and premium features. Happy choosing and goodbye.